Welcome back. Truck driver Sibo Siso Siaya will be appearing in court today. He's the man allegedly responsible for the horror Pongolo crash that claimed 20 lives. Senior reporter Dayson Tathia uh, at court. Now, hello to you, Dayson, and uh, good to have you with us. What are we expecting from court this morning? Well, a few things uh, to be expected in court this morning, Gareth. You know that this is meant to be the bail application for Supersiso CEIA. He did indicate in the last appearance that that's what, that's what he intends to do, so he intends to apply for bail today. He sorted out the issues around legal representation last week and is provisionally granted legal aid, and that's when uh, that notice was given to the court that he intends to apply for bail. But something else that's very important that is expected to come out today, and that's the issues around the culpable homicide charges that he faces. The last time we were in court, that stood at 21, but you'll recall that after that, government then revised that death toll down to 20, saying that there was an error in the counting at the time. So there is an expectation that that will be amended, obviously, now because the death toll has come down. But another very important issue is whether you'll get to see who Sibusiso CIA actually is. The last time around, the court ruled in his favor, saying that we were allowed to film in court, but we were not allowed to show him. So he was citing safety concerns because he had intended to apply for bail. So the last time around, we brought you the court proceedings without him. In included. We've just put in another application now and that is expected to be reviewed when we get into court today because he is now being represented by legal aid so they will then be able to state their case as to exactly why they don't think uh, that he should be on, um, on camera and uh, the prosecutor had previously indicated that they had no issue with this at all. So that's, uh, those are some of the main things that we'll expect to come up when court gets underway just in the next 15 to 20 minutes or so. So just after 9 o'clock this morning. So uh, possibility of applying for bail but was concerned about his safety as well. Talk to me, talk to me about community members. Uh, Dason, are we expecting any at court? I know the family is still very much grieving, obviously, such a short time ago since the tragedy. There was talk of some of these community members actually coming out outside the court. It's a very small courthouse, and last time around we just saw a handful of people that were, were waiting outside, not necessarily protesting or anything like that, but there has been a lot of interest in the broader community about exactly what's been going on here. Interestingly, uh, Seiya's argument that he's worried about his safety is exactly what the state is also using, but to a different end. They are opposing bail, and they're saying that if he is worried about his safety, then it's safer for him mm. to remain behind bars at least until this case is completed. So they are, uh, you know, unapologetic about that. They're saying that they're opposing bail. Also, another reason there is because they claim that he tried to evade justice on the very first day of the accident because he allegedly fled the scene. Remember, he was only arrested that weekend after he had presented himself at the police station. So those are some of the arguments that are expected to take place today uh, if this case actually gets underway with that bail application, as we were told it would last week. All right, we'll wait to see what happens with the bail application and how the uh, state and defense handles this as well. Dayson Tathia, any updates? Of course, you'll get it live here on ENCA. You can also follow Dayson on Twitter as well for any more updates uh, on that horrific crash. The uh, driver accused of causing that accident going to be in court in about 15 to 20 minutes from now. Uh, we understand for that bail application.